is our accommodation for the night. And, and our view is even more insane. As soon as you reach the edge of the lava lake, there's a whole sense of energy that runs through you. Standing in front of the heartbeat of the planet, molten rock is boiling. It's something you'll never get bored of. The energy will never disappear. I've spent the last four years of my life traveling around, and that's how I end up in Vanuatu. What I do is climb inside volcanoes, maybe 400, 500 meters inside these places, and really gather information and take pictures and shoot video inside the lava lakes. With Google, we managed to capture 360 footage of inside a volcano that has never been done before. In Vanuatu, there's tribes living just 20 kilometers away from the volcano. These people are living in constant threat of eruption, and without real early warning systems, these people have no idea what's coming. If it does start going wrong, the tent starts to uh, blow over, then I'm, uh, I'm here alone. Now it's starting to rip the cover apart, so I'm just going to have to go outside and fix it. Uh, there's so much sulfur in the air, it's hard to breathe. And there's some really heavy rain coming, so it's not a good place to be. The weather wasn't working with us. It wasn't safe for us to carry on. We had to cancel the expedition. I wasn't able to get the data that I came for. Next time, I hope the weather is working with us. Expeditions like this always come with a risk. It's meant to be persistent. It's about really focusing on what you believe in what you want to get out of this and focusing all your energy and all your willpower into getting that one shot. <laughs>